I have a seizure-like activity, Parkinson's tremors, um, I can't find words, brain fog, balance issues. This is months after testing negative for COVID. A local nurse says she is still having severe side effects, forcing her to step back from her career. News 4's Alejandra Guzman is working for you. She spoke with doctors researching the virus and say COVID-19 is not just affecting people's lungs. This is Cassandra Hernandez taking her first steps after being diagnosed with COVID last June. I lost my short-term memory. Um, that was the, the biggest thing. I had to relearn how to walk. Um, I stutter. Um, I have Parkinson's-like tremors. Tremors, she says, come and go. It's hard. This this happens. And, and um, I, I can't control it. This is Cassandra before she was diagnosed with the virus, living out her dream as a nurse working in the operating room. I feel like it, like like I was robbed, you know, like you go to school for so many years and you you devote your life to this career that you love and then it's just it's just gone, you know. COVID has yanked her away from helping her patients. There's no way I, I could take a, care of a patient like, like this. I, I can't even take, take care of, of myself sometimes. I, I can't be, be alone. While she's taking steps in the right direction, she says it took time to fully understand how COVID had affected her. I was having joint pain. I couldn't feel my feet. I couldn't feel my right leg. Like... All of these things were going on and I was telling them and they were like, COVID doesn't affect the brain. Now nearly a year after the first COVID case in San Antonio, UT Health San Antonio doctors are currently in Argentina, partnering with doctors from 30 countries looking into how COVID affects the brain. We're being told that COVID-19 is a respiratory illness. Is this statement still correctly accurate? COVID-19 is clearly more than just a respiratory illness. It's become increasingly clear that it's a systemic disease. It causes all sorts of symptoms affecting the kidney, uh, the lungs, the heart, and uh, peripheral nerves, the nerves that feed our arms and legs, and the brain. While doctors don't know how long people like Cassandra can experience side effects, they say when the brain isn't functioning properly, most organs will begin to suffer. Brain fog, balance issues, headaches, nausea, stuttering, uh, tingling hands and feet, joint pain. A long list of symptoms Cassandra is still dealing with seven months later. She's sharing her battle with the virus so others in her situation will know they're not alone even though that they may have gotten this virus and they may still be living with these long-term symptoms, um, there's still hope and they can still have a good life. Alejandro Guzman, News 4, San Antonio.